Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday. <laughs> I'm not sure what day it is. I'm recording this on, it's actually Friday that I'm recording this, but uh, I think I'll probably upload it on Sunday. <laughs> but anyways, this is just kind of like a update on my whips because I missed whip Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. <laughs> so, um, well, Saturday hasn't happened yet, but I've just been busy with life. So I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys my newish whips and one that, well, this one I guess I won't share um, until I do my next Stitcher Stash video. So I only have two little tiny whips to share with you, <laughs> but uh, they're kind of interesting. So recently I talked about how I want to make little amigurumi type things to leave around for random acts of kindness. There's a crochet, or there's a Facebook group called Random Acts of Crochet Kindness, I think. I think that's what it is. I'll link it below. Let me write that down real fast. So I will remember to do that. Facebook link. Um, and on there, people share a ton of little amigurumis and keychains and top things that they make and leave with notes around their cities for people to find just to help, you know, spread kindness and happiness. And also people who find those items post on that book, the Facebook group as well when they found it, like a picture of their kids holding it or something. And it's just really cool. So, I've seen a lot of little things on there that I've been wanting to make. And then I found out that they have a playlist on YouTube with like 200 and something patterns. I think it's like 250. Uh, that'll be linked below as well. <clears throat> and it's got all kinds of cute little amigurumis. And some of them are like techniques on doing things and um, keychains and bracelets and just all kinds of little things. So, one that I found that I really liked that people were making were little dragonflies. And they have crochet wings. But their head and their bodies are beads. So I thought that was so cool. So I went to Walmart. I don't think it's laying up here. And I bought a big thing of like pearl beads. And then I also bought this strand. Uh oh. It's under the tripod. Sorry about that. <laughs> this strand, it's got like big ones, medium ones, slightly smaller ones, and then small ones. So that would be perfect for the dragonfly because the head is bigger and then the body, you know, is bigger and gets smaller is what most people have been doing with them. And these I just thought were cool because they're like uh, oil slick kind of. I don't know. I just thought they were pretty. And then I got the pearl ones. And the pearl ones came with like white pearl, black-ish color pearl, and like a brown color pearl. And um, I was hoping they'd be big enough, but I don't think, at least for a worsted weight yarn, they're not big enough. I do have a bag. It's up there on the top of that shelf. You can't see it of like size three yarns that was gifted to me from different people um that i made i was making christmas ornaments with last year i could pull that down and use it but i have way more colors and worsted weight and i prefer worsted weight so i'm gonna have to buy bigger beads <laughs> and do something else with these other ones because um i made one of the dragonflies and with worsted weight and i used an e-hook actually i may not use the e-hook because these stitches look pretty big i probably should have used e-hook this, these stitches, this is probably elf hook. I probably used elf hook. <laughs> but the beads are just too small. And also couldn't, I did, it's not all the way down. I didn't finish all the way. So here's the dragonfly that I made. I'm going to try to hold it where the beads won't fall everywhere. Uh, see, the head is just so small. I would want the head to be bigger or the wings to be smaller. I probably should get the smaller yarn. But I just prefer working. It doesn't even look good the way I'm holding it. But it has two sets of wings. One is slightly longer than the other. You know, like a dragonfly. And then the bod, the beads down here are the body. So I'll put a bigger bead and then some littler beads. But I think they're just too small overall. <laughs> it looks bad the way I'm holding it. But it looks good when you lay it down. <clears throat> and what you're supposed to do get on there, is when you're putting it together, you're supposed to feed through the on the string the little beads first and then the bottom wings, the top wings, the top bead, the head, and then like the thing you're going to use it to hook to a keychain, key, bottom is hard to say, <laughs> key ring. And then you feed it back through the whole thing. And uh, I had to use thread because these beads are so small that the hole, uh, the only needle I had that would go through the holes of the beads was um, like sewing needles instead of like yarn needles. So it's just, I, I just got the wrong beads. I think it would look so much better with um, bigger beads for the head and also the body, bigger, smaller beads. <laughs> But, um, uh, and also a lot of people on there were talking about how they get the wings to lay flat. You know, some people, um, what's it called? Starch, I guess. Use the glue method and all that. And some people just said that they took a piece of yarn, the same yarn, and like wove it through the whole thing and it helped them lay flat. I hadn't gotten that far when I was making this to figure out how I wanted the, <laughs> to get the wings to lay flat. Uh, once I started putting the beads on, I was like, those are way too small. 
Um, I, I just don't like it. I think it looked better with a bigger bead for the head. So I either got to use smaller yarn or get bigger beads. <laughs> but uh, so that's my dragonfly. I'm going to disassemble it now though. But the pattern for this, the only one I could find, there's two videos, but they're both in foreign languages from English. The one that I followed, I believe, was in German. But I followed it and I played it and paused it, played it and paused it, and then I wrote all, all of it down. <laughs> it's actually very simple, the pattern. Uh, and I can share it with you if you would like me to. Uh, but I don't take um, credit for it because it's not my pattern. I just translated it from, I believe it was German, to uh, English. And I have it, it's in my notepad in there. But it's super simple. You basically just make a chain and then you work a certain amount of stitches. Um, like an oval shape and then you make a slightly smaller chain and do it again super simple pattern uh, so if anyone is interested I can either send you to that video I'll link it below so you can you, it's easy to translate you just watch what she's doing and you can uh, figure it out that way and uh, I saw on the Facebook group too people were talking about how some people have translated it and shared it on there but I never could find it <laughs> it's a really big Facebook group it's got a lot of members and uh, it's really hard to find stuff on there so it was easier for me to just go watch the video and translate it myself. But I will leave the Facebook group and the video links below so you can do what you want with it. <laughs> but I just need to get bigger beads and then figure out how to get the wings to lay flat. Um, I know people use like the, like the Mod Podge stuff, like the glue and water mixed together. But I don't know. I don't know. I've never done that. So I'd have to just test it out. <laughs> Anyways, all that to say, the second pattern that I made from that group, uh, well, this isn't the actual pattern from that group, but I've seen other people posting um, little suns with little sunglasses on, and I thought that was so cute. So I went to Amazon and I ordered the sunglasses, and I, I got a pack. I don't know how many it was. It was quite a bit of them. Uh, I'll leave it linked below. Let me write that down, too. Sunglasses. Like... <laughs> I can't remember how many it was. I think it was like $16 or $18 for a whole bunch of them. And uh, they're flat back, so you can like glue them on. Um, and then the pattern, I couldn't find that pattern that this particular person used. Like they didn't say what it was. So, and then I just happened to see on Ravelry a new pattern by Once Upon a Cheerio. And it's called a mini sun amigurumi. Now her sun amigurumi is the sun, but it also has cheeks and a bow. So I just didn't deal with the bow or the cheeks. And I didn't do any faces because I'm planning on using the sunglasses. And then I'll stitch on a little smile. Um, so there it is. Now this is worst weight yarn. This is um, the yarn from the Dollar Tree. It's just worsted. Uh, I don't know what color it is because I didn't have a ball band. But... Um, I just pulled it down and it only took a little tiny bit to make this. It's just, you start here and then you leave, you do back loop only. Uh, so and then you close it and then you go back and attach the, attach the yarn again and make the little sun race. <laughs> and uh, you're supposed to add safety eyes and stuff. But uh, because I'm wanting to do the sunglasses, I didn't add the safety eyes. So I'm probably just going to hot glue because hot glue does work good with acrylic yarns. I've seen some people be iffy about that, but I've been hot gluing yarn <laughs> for years. Particularly, particularly, I can't say that word, on my Snappy Tots uh, garden flags, the ones that I hang in my house, all of them that are hanging in my house are backed with uh, felt pieces, and I hot glued them all on, and I never had any issues with it, but I did that just so you wouldn't see the wall through the crochet, you know, uh, I wanted it to be like solid, <laughs> but I've never had an issue, and I've, I've hot glued amigurumis and stuff, and I know Llama Mama Kayla hot glues, and I've never, we've never had any issues, so anyways, I'm going to hot glue the sunglasses on. And then stitch on little smiles and maybe little cheeks, little pink cheeks. Um, and I want to just make a bunch of these cute little suns because I got this yarn and I think I got another ball of it up there somewhere. Um, make just little suns. I want to collect a bunch of these cute little amigurumis and then print off the uh, little notes that you send with them and just leave them around my town, you know, just to help spread a little bit of uh, cheer and stuff. We have a bunch in our town. We have a bunch of those little uh, little free libraries and the little. Uh, free pantries I guess I don't know what they're called but it's like um let's see I know we have three of that I can think of one of them I go to all the time because it's easier to get to every we uh put food in all the time and it's for people who need food to take it you know and put these in there too you know and in the little free libraries I think little kids would like you know getting little immigrants <laughs> but or at parks you know for at the park or on a walking trail I've seen people on the Facebook group leaving them on walking trails like hanging in bushes and stuff um I just thought it'd be fun and it's just these little quick things you can pop out really easy. I did this one day just sitting on the couch. 
and I had planned to make a bunch that day and then you know the kids got to me <laughs> but uh, I will leave the dragonfly video and stuff and the sun linked below if you want to check it out and the Facebook group and the YouTube playlist the YouTube playlist is big it's got like I said like 254 I think uh patterns and they're just so many cute ones there's a lot on there that I want to make and there's some more um keychains and stuff that have beads incorporated in it that I want to try one of them is like um like a what's that thing called like, like a fob I think it's called a fob it's like you know like a piece that you can hold on to with your keys to it <laughs> I think those are called fobs or something like that but um I have one I don't even know what's I have a Gilmore Girls one that Connie gave me but uh I don't know what they're called but I have, there's one like that that's got beads in it I thought that was really cool and a lot of times they use perler beads and Walmart I know because I looked down the other day has big containers of perler beads uh which are those little plastic beads that were like really popular in the 90s you know friendship bracelets and stuff and I'm sure the craft stores have them too but I just happened to notice Walmart had a bunch of them and they have like different shades like they have bright colors and dark colors and like pastels because I was over there looking at the beads but anyways <laughs> I feel like I'm just blabbing about the sun uh I think it's so cute and um her pattern I believe she had like yellow and then orange for the rays but I just wanted to use just one color because I was just sitting there on my couch you know and I wanted to just take one ball with me in the hook and go for it and I used my tail from in here as my stitch marker all the way up until I closed and I just stuffed it in there. And um, so I didn't even need a stitch marker. I just needed yarn and hook and a little bit of stuffing. <laughs> but my stuffing's in there. So, but uh, I think it's adorable and it's going to be even cuter with the sunglasses. I'm going to, if I can think about it, I'll pop up a picture of what the sunglass uh, looks like on, uh, what's it called? Amazon. And uh, then I'll leave the link down below if you want to check them out for yourself. Oh, I also, the same day I ordered little bows. Who mentioned that? Oh gosh. I'm trying to remember who mentioned those little bows. They're dog bows. They're for Yorkie Yorkies. It like specifically says Yorkies on the uh, listing. I'm trying to think of who mentioned them. I know who mentioned them. Valerie. Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. I think it's her channel name. <laughs> she mentioned it a long time ago. I think it was when she was uh, talking about her feel better friends. Uh, she got those little bows to use maybe in the, the girl's hair. Uh, and I thought that was such a good idea. So I added it to my wish list, you know, just to remember. And then that day I was buying those eyes, I happened to see those bows. And I was like, you know, I'm going to get the bows too. Because then I can make girl signs with little sunglasses and like a little bow. <laughs> I thought that would be cute. Uh, depending on how big the bow is. I'm assuming if it's for a Yorkie, it's pretty small. Um, and then I could use them for other things too, like dolls and things. I think there was like 40 bows in that set. But uh, I'll leave them both linked below. If um, you want to check them out, you can. Because they'd be cute for other amigurumis too. Uh, or if you have a Yorkie and you want to put a bow on its head, on its hair. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I love my little son. I can't wait to make a bunch of these. And the little flowers, I got them over here. They're put up over here. There they are. There's three of them that I can reach. So I could put uh, sunglasses on the flowers too. Or bows or something if I wanted to. Um, I don't know. It's just fun making these little things and getting it to pop them out. You know, it feels good to make a finished project especially because right now my only other projects are big ones the sweater and that blanket that I'm working on so um it's nice to have little projects that you can pop out and I do have a whip right there that is that Pokemon amigurumi for my brother it's trubbish but it's in timeout because I just don't like working on it and he forgot about it anyways um so I'll just get it done eventually maybe it'll be Christmas present <laughs> but I just really hate working with uh yarn held double and that's what the whole thing is and it's just it hurts my hands so, uh, he's just in time. I'll finish it eventually. <laughs> it can just live right there for now. It's fine. But I'll leave everything links below if you want to check them out. And if you've ever blocked anything, I know some people do it with like Christmas ornaments. Let me know how you did it so I can try it with, uh, these dragonflies. Cause I really want to make them. They're so cute. I just got to get bigger beads. I need to go somewhere that has a better bead selection, like, um, Hobby Lobby or Joann's or whatever. And, um, get bigger beads. They just need to be slightly bigger or use smaller yarn but my yarn my little yarns up there they're way up there <laughs> i can't reach them i had to have devin put them up there they're up there with my uh sir jumps a lot up there sir sir leaps a lot i can't remember what his name was <laughs> but uh prince leaps a lot i think was his name because she wanted to save hops for a bunny pattern which i'm excited about <laughs> that's crystal by the way from chronically crocheting um, let me write her down too. Chronically crochet. <laughs> so 
sometimes I say I'm going to link something that I forget. So if I ever do that and you notice it's not in the description box below the video, leave me a comment and I will try to stick it in there because I, um, I hate forgetting to link things when people, let me also write down M or Zon links. I will remember. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyways, let me know if you know how to starch things. Cause I don't know if you would use actual starch. But I know I have heard of people using like the Mod Podge stuff, which I have some of that somewhere. I think it's over here in the shelf somewhere. But yeah, so that's what I've been working on the last few days. I haven't crocheted a lot. And I do have a big haul of stuff behind you that I want to share with you that I got for my anniversary slash my birthday. But I'm actually picking up a couple packages tomorrow, which is Saturday that I'm recording this. <laughs> um, that I want to wait and show all together. So it's just been piled there. But it looks pretty. I like looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.